right now let's come back to the next set of reactions now what are we going to do be uh, understand carefully we are going to learn about markovnikov's addition done so whenever you see an alkene in the paper done what should you remember there are two types of alkenes we very well know one is symmetrical alkene and one is unsymmetrical alkene so in markovnikov's addition suppose you are going to add hx done x can be chlorine bromine iodide now concept is what is x is not the concept what is that the negative addendum so now you have symmetrical alkene i'm going to take a symmetrical alkene means both the carbons are equal now in the paper if you see alkene and if you find a hx that means they want you to show markovnikov's addition so in this case h is the plus part x is the negative part now what happens when it is symmetrical not a problem at all you can break the bond here and directly you can add around the double bond here even the double bond is cleaved and you have h and x formed nothing but when you have an unsymmetrical alkene most important thing is the negative addendum or the negative part adds to the carbon having lesser number of hydrogens now observe carefully i'm repeating my sentence in unsymmetrical alkene you will be getting two products done what are the two products one is a major product one is a minor product now what is how will you say which is major in this case the negative part this is a negative addendum the negative addendum adds to the carbon having lesser number of hydrogens around the double bond you have to be around the double bond your concentration should be around the double bond now around the double bond this is less hydrogens lesser number of hydrogens here this is more here there is only one hydrogen atom here there are two hydrogen atoms so x goes in adds to this carbon h goes and adds to this carbon now observe carefully here i have taken excess iodine x can be anything i said now see in the first case when x or i added to this carbon that is more number of hydrogens this has become minor product now in this case i or negative addendum added to the carbon having lesser number of hydrogen so it is major product now understand you hope you have understood the concept let me come back and solve now in the exam paper suppose if they give me like this now this is also this is a bond line structure now this is also an alkene because it has double bond what did they give me they have asked me to add water see here all the cases water in the presence of h plus ion okay acidic medium nothing as soon as this is given to you break the bond here this is plus and this is minus now in all the cases this is plus and this is minus plus and minus so negative addendum is oh minus now what should you see careful now as soon as bond line structure is given to you try the number of carbon atoms now see here in the first case here all these wherever you have joints in this case all are carbon atoms now this is the first carbon atom second carbon third carbon fourth carbon fifth carbon let us fill the hydrogens now already there are two bonds here two hydrogens so this becomes ch2 done now for this carbon 1 2 3 and the fourth one hydrogen for this carbon two bonds and this is ch2 for this carbon there are two this one ch2 now for this carbon there is only one bond so ch3 now tell me according to this rule the negative addendum adds to the carbon having lesser number of hydrogens around the double bond so which is this carbon this is the carbon simple now i have identified this carbon because there is only one hydrogen atom now write copy this don't write carbons please you need to write the bond line structure only so first carbon second one third one fourth one done so now what should you do you have to add your oh because this is a carbon with lesser hydrogen so your oh that is a product done yes now next card next one let us see this bond line structure so as soon as i see this i very well know this is an alkene now let us fill carbide carbons so one carbon here second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh okay now here also there is one carbon that let us write that substituent now fill the hydrogens for the first carbon ch2 for this carbon two bonds are already there ch2 for this carbon if i have to see 1 2 3 and 4 done now there is one carbon here also see this done for this carbon 1 2 3 4 no know hydrogens here for this carbon there is one hydrogen and three for this one already two hydrogen so two 
for this carbon one two and two hydrogens for this carbon three hydrogens now which carbon among all these has less number of hydrogens this is the point see here this is the point where it doesn't have hydrogens only so let's come back and write carefully write the copy the bond line structure start from here one second third there is a substituent down fourth fifth and sixth so this is the point where your oh should go negative addendum that is a product done let's come back to see this now again this is an alkene i have to add negative addendum now write the number of carbon atoms one two three four five six seven eight done so first carbon already there is one hydrogen so this becomes ch3 for the second carbon two hydrogens are here two for this carbon already one two three bonds are there there is one h for this carbon one two three four so no hydrogens for this carbon one hydrogen is there three for this carbon if i have to see okay i need to see this also two bonds that means it is ch2 for this one ch2 for this one ch3 so where should the negative addendum go this is the carbon which doesn't have hydrogen so copy the structure carefully this is the first line this is the second line this is the third line please never write double bond again you'll go wrong we broke the double bond isn't it third line now this is the fourth line this is your oh where it is joining this is the fifth carbon here this is the one and this is the one so this is where your product is now let's see this here in this particular case there is cyclo group now let us fill now there is one carbon with three hydrogens if i take this carbon here one two three and the fourth one done now there is one more carbon here also see here because at the, around the double bond you have two carbons this carbon has already one bond here two three four so no hydrogens so let's come back and write this is the bond or this is the carbon which has less number of hydrogen so copy it exactly the cyclo compound you have to be very careful in copying now there is one bond here this one so OH goes and adds there and break the double bond and join and that's it so this is a product let's come back and see this simple isn't it we it's clearly observed now around these two this is the one which has negative maybe negative uh, means lesser number of hydrogens so the uh, OH should go and add to this so let's see that ch3 c oh <coughs> single bond ch3 so this is hydrogen so this is your major product done so let's uh, come back and see the next set now what are these reactions basically so when i have to see these reactions now you have to import remember in your ncrt textbook they are given two types one is h3po2 and h3po4 both the reactions are there remember both these are dehydrating agents you have to remember that sulfuric acid is a dehydrating agent phosphorus acid is a dehydrating agent phosphoric acid is a dehydrating agent so if you see h3po4 and h3po2 both are dehydrating that means what do they do they remove water but you have to remember careful now you have different reactions with both suppose if you have h3po2 careful here this H3PO2, it's going to form a different type of compound. See here, this is where it was asked last time. So, H3PO2, you have to remember that it, what does it do? We are going to take BDC, done. So, BDC, first important, nitrogen gas escapes out, as I said earlier, done. This will undergo further oxidation, H3PO2 to H3PO3, further higher oxidation state. Okay, now this is your BDC, nitrogen has escaped out. H3PO2, I have already done this reaction, converts to H3PO3, done and there is, <coughs> yeah, uh, just see here, there is one more H, isn't it, that hydrogen comes out as HCl and what are we left with, means we are adding, if I try to balance this, um, that one hydrogen, when I balance this, I have not balanced it here, when I balance this, this goes and adds to this, so benzene, that means whenever you have H3PO2 in the paper, four important products, one is conversion of BDC to benzene, remember, BDC to benzene, first important, if you write this, you will get half mark for this, so BDC to benzene, next, next one, N2, that is understood, PO2 it will get converted to PO3 and HCl. Let's come back and see this also. See here. Here what did they give us? Here they have given us again BDC. 
H3PO2 is given to me. Here they have given hydrolysis. Nothing to do. Careful. Not simple. You have to remember nitrogen gas escapes out. Done. PO2 it will get converted to PO3. Done. Next important benzene is formed. C6H6 is formed. HCl as usual. So that means here also you have water molecule. You can write that. So that's done with H3PO2. So there are only two reactions in your book. So one forming benzene, like the first and the last reaction forming benzene, nitrogen gas because it is BDC. Next H3PO3. If that's get that gets oxidized to higher oxidation, I mean, it will get converted to higher oxidation state, HCl in both the cases. Now, let's come back and see what should what should I do, which reaction when it is H3PO4, that is a dehydrating agent. So, basically, now observe, I have done one reaction here. Now, what do I have in the arrow? I have H3PO4, which is dehydrating agent, it's going to remove water. From where is it removing? Now, I have an alcohol. In the exam paper, alcohol will be given to you. Primary will be given, sorry, tertiary will be given, secondary will be given to you. Now, see here. Now, if I have a secondary alcohol like this, observe carefully, 1H from here and 1OH from here will be removed. Once again, if you have an alcohol here, let it be secondary or tertiary, one hydrogen from here and one more OH from here will be removed and they will drop in this double bond. So, whenever you see H3PO4, that means you have to remove water. So, go back to the reaction, remove water from here and drop in the double bond. I get alkene. Now, let's see this. Suppose I have, what is this alcohol? This is a tertiary alcohol. What is this given in the paper? 20% H3PO4 is given. That means I have to dehydrate this alcohol. What will I do? I am going to take out one hydrogen from here, one OH from here and drop this here. What do I get? I am going to get CH3, C, double bond CH2, single bond CH3. This is alkene. Simple, isn't it? Let us try with this. Here, what is the difference between this alcohol and this alcohol? Here, you have C2H5. Only alkyl group is different. But the concept is the same. They have given me 20% H3PO4. That means I have to dehydrate the reaction. Take out one hydrogen from here, one OH from here and drop in this. So, CH3, C, single bond, double bond CH2, 1 and C2H5. That is the product. You get alkene. So, simple, isn't it? So, H3PO2 is this reaction. H3PO4 is dehydrating reaction forming alkenes. Remember this. Let's come back and start the next set of reactions. Done.